Next, we're going to build a linear effect, which is timing over a parameter. So I'm going to go into effect effect, and I want to say effect 12, enter, and I'm going to go ahead and select linear. And you can see our default is a sine wave over intensity, so that will allow you to really quickly get some movement going. But for today, we're going to hit edit. We get a whole bunch of patterns that are default. And the first one I want to pick is a flicker effect. Don't forget about your tools that you have near the bottom to modify this waveform. But for today, I'm going to hit apply, and that'll store that as that effect. So let's go into live. And I'm going to stop the uh, effect running on group 5 currently. So I'm going to say group 5, home, enter. That'll put those back. And I'm going to put them at 50% so we can see some of this movement up and down. And if I hit effect 12, you'll notice that it starts the flicker effect on those channels. Don't forget, if I want different characteristics of this effect, like slowing it down or speeding it up or changing the grouping, I can always change that in my effect editor. If I want to stop that effect, I can just say effect, enter.